With the overturning of Roe v. Wade, you're probably seeing a lot of posts advising you to delete period trackers off your smart devices. Not just delete the app, but to request an account deletion and a purge of your data. And the reason for that is data mining and a lack of privacy. In a country with a long history of violating women's bodily autonomy, we do not need to give the government or private organizations the ability to track what is going on with a woman's body. And one of the ways that they can do that is through the data collected through those period trackers. But there's another way that that can be done that I'm not seeing a lot of people talk about. And that is store loyalty programs and digital coupons. Programs in which you give up personal information and allow a company to track your purchases in exchange for discounts and occasional deals. There's one reason and one reason alone that companies do this. Data mining. Your personal data and shopping habits are valuable. And in a post-row United States, that data and shopping habits just became priceless. Even if every user of a period tracker deleted the app and purged all of their data, none of that matters if they can get that same information from tracking your shopping habits. Loyalty programs allow these companies to data mine when exactly you buy tampons, pads, condoms, if you use it in the pharmacy department, when you fulfill your birth control, or any other item you may buy from a more spicy adult aisle. These large data brokers can then take that information from one store, correlate it to the data they got from another store's loyalty program. Then using that data, they can have a complete profile of when you buy these items and make an inference of when you're experiencing certain biological cycles. On top of that, they can even see when you stop buying said items and then later resume, allowing them to infer that an event has happened. Data mining has become so powerful, they don't even need you to sign up for the loyalty program to do this. This can be tracked through sales trends within the receipt system when you make purchases with a debit or credit card. This can be done even if you pay in cash, and they do things like ask for your zip code. It seems very innocent to give these companies your zip code. About 9-10 years ago, it was found out that data mining agencies could find out a person's identity based off what they purchased in their zip code. Comparing that information from that transaction to other information they had from previous transactions from that store and other stores. A common tactic to help prevent this is to pay only in cash. And when paying in cash, to politely refuse providing any other information such as a zip code or phone number. If you can afford to do so, purchase these products in irregular cycles, different times of the day, different days of the month, and in different quantities when you can. If you must use a loyalty program due to financial reasons, there's still precautions that you can take. If you can, sign up for multiple loyalty programs and spread them out over different purchases. Use fake information when signing up for these loyalty programs. And whenever possible, do not use the digital version of the loyalty program on your phone. That could allow the app access to other information on your phone. Ask for a physical barcode loyalty card if available. As always, I love you, be safe, and let's not make it easier for them.